The first question comes from Henry Sales, and he wants to know how do you deal with the negativity surrounding you and your uh, resume? Um, well, how I deal with the negative, you know, um, things I get in my career, I just don't focus on it. You give more people power once you focus on that. I just focus on all the positive, and I let just whatever I can see that's negative, I turn it into a positive, a positive moment and just, you know, fuel myself off of that. Emily wants to know, can you talk a bit about your life when you first turned to pro? Um, well, my life before I was pro and before I turned pro, it was like kind of hard. It was struggle. Um, it was just something I had just to endure to be able to live out these moments now as a champion. John Green wants to know, how many miles do you normally run a week? Mr. Green, I, I don't really run for the miles. I run for the time because at this stage in my career, time is money. So. I usually run from 48 minutes to, you know, an hour, hour and 20, whatever, you know, I feel in my head that it needs to go. Nikki DeBolt says, when you win on Saturday, how do you feel about your future fight with Daniel Jacobs? Is that at all difficult, considering you guys are friendly? Well, you know, without this performance, me focusing on other fights, I want to know what Saturday night. No, I know that we have a tough um, cookie in front of us, and I'm going to take a bite of that cookie. Hopefully, I'll come out victorious, and then we'll focus on other fights. But I'm always open for opportunities, and I look to capitalize on every opportunity in every moment. Rashawn Davis says, I know you love clothes and shoes because I follow you on Instagram. What is your favorite item you own and why? The, the favorite um, clothing that I have is usually the ones I give to people because I know they can carry it and just be humble with the experience of me giving clothes. I get a lot of clothes that, you know, I just, like I said, I, you know, it's a lot of things I can't die with. So... Um, I'm just happy to be able to step out as a kid growing up struggling and poor. I used to have to see other kids come to school with things and for now I just look at anything it's like if it can burn then it don't really mean nothing. Joe Antonetti said what was it like to do the ESPN the magazine shoot? Man it was like a special feeling because I never you know thought I'd get credit and I start to notice that you know um, I am getting credit from different brands and different companies like ESPN put me in a magazine. It's like a blessing and you know it's only getting just a small part of my story out but I think as my career progresses and I keep winning that you know it is going to be available to the whole world. Adam Simon says what is the best part of being a well-known fighter and what's the worst part? Um, the bad thing about being a well-known fighter is like me I don't even look at myself as being known at all. I still got a lot of moments to create and I just look at myself as nobody right now. Okay. Is there is there a bad part about it, though? There's no bad no, part okay. of being doing something great. Like, I always thought I was going to be a criminal. Now I'm, I'm now I'm the champ of the world. All right, Lance Mormon says, which other fighter in your weight class do you have the most respect for? I'm going to have respect for any fighter that lace up gloves because it's hard to go in there and put your life on the line. So I give every fighter a lot of respect to be able to do those things. Neil Harkner says, do you give Chino Maidana a shot against Floyd? Give us your take. Everybody deserves a shot to be able to be a winner, including Chino Maidana, because there's only one punch it takes to, you know, change a whole fight. Katie Clemens says, I know you've trained in L.A. and New York for different fights. What do you like about both places? That the, the thing I like about training in L.A. and training in New York is that I'm trying to conquer every place I touch. So um, I hope that, you know, whatever place I touch, that I inspire people and fans all over the place. Megan Murphy wants to know if you would ever follow in Polly's shoes and go to the announcing side. Um, you know, I think it's in my near future to be able to do so, but right now we just focus on being a fighter. I think the opportunities will present itself, and I just pray that I make the right decision for myself. Andrew Levin wants to know, how do you stay motivated and hungry, and what drives you to be your best? Um, I look at every moment to be able to be motivated and kind of you know, opportunity for me, you know, being here talking to you guys, keeping my friends and my family close to me, sharing good moments with them. My wife is pregnant right now. It's very motivating. I got dogs that I love to be able to spend time. So every moment that I try to create is like positive, motivating moments to keep me inspired to be, you know, a grand champion that I am. Tim Leicht says, talk a bit about your training and diet. I, I have to know how to get as jacked as you are, kid. Well, you know, you got one temple, you got one body, so the way you eat and the way you prepare your body is what you got to, you know, what you got to do. It comes with a lot of sacrifice. Um, I eat, you know, boiled egg whites. I eat uh, spinach, raw broccoli. Um, I think for the most part we have the Internet, so if you go and you learn for yourself 
then you're able to get what you need. And I tell you, your body tells you a lot of things that you just got to open, open up your heart and listen. Okay, we're almost out of time, but we're going to take a few more. Carrie Ann says, it seems like you love the social media. Do you enjoy interacting with your fans? fans and what platform do you like the best? I think meaning Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Well, I definitely like, they, they label me as the social media king because I don't think nobody has a presence more than me on social media as far as inspiration and delivering positive messages that, you know, I just hope to get more followers. I love Twitter. I love Instagram is one of my favorite because you get to actually see my life, but I also got fans and people on Facebook that I try to cater to all. And at this point in my career, I definitely very happy to have my boy Pablo help me with everything. Last one, Lance Brady says, describe a day in the life of Kid Chocolate when you're in camp from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed. And how does that differ from when you're out of camp? Well, I don't think it really so much differ. I think I'm just expressing myself when I hit the ring. So the way I can say I get up and my day in the life is getting up, thanking God for able to live another day, eat a good breakfast, thanking God for my food, and go on and do my job, thank God that I'm able to put a hard work day's work in, go to lunch, thank God for the lunch, you know, um, do whatever else, run every kind of errand, thank God that I was able to do that. And then also thank God for my dinner, and then thank God for living the whole day and do the same thing the next day. All right, thank you. Thank you.